World Splitters, I split, you choose. What's up everybody, welcome to the life of a board gamer, my name is Daniel and today we are going to talk about World Splitters. It is a game about area control, influence, splitting, I split, you choose, mechanics that were involved, there's some bidding also involved, so by all means this game has few mechanics that I am kind of so-so or don't like them, but at the end I really enjoy this game. Now why is that? Uh, World Splitters basically revolves about uh, you are trying to control the enclosed areas and uh, you will choose uh, how you will build those areas because at the start of the game there are some preset walls put on the board but everything else you need to put there and well, once you put the wall you are actually when you are active player you will put the wall and actually what you are doing is you are using I split you choose mechanic with the bidding involved now when you put the wall now you have to put your, uh, your, your or other players are trying to put their meeple on either side of that wall. And how they do that is by bidding, they will offer you a bid and you will either accept that bid and let them put the meeple on the wall or you will match their bid, pay them that amount of money and then you can put your meeple there. So in essence, you are constantly changing money back and forth, uh, trying to uh, figure out what areas you want to uh, close off because uh, as I said at the start of the map of the game the map has few of these areas uh, few of these walls like uh, scenery put on there but you are using these walls to build different enclosed enclosed areas and depending how big they are depending uh, how many meeples you have in there do you have majority or not you will score more or less points or maybe even none because you didn't play well uh, but overall I liked it so much. It's a constant back and forth. It's constantly you are trying to overpay for stuff or you are trying to undermine everybody else. Like you you, you can always like play these mini games where you are like, oh man, I really need this one. And you make them think you really need it. So you made them think you will like bid super high money, but then you bid low, let them have it because you actually really don't need it. You have your other plans. And uh, as you are doing that, you are also collecting some tokens and these tokens, are basically you need them to score extra points because you need to have set of all three colors to be able to score some extra points by the end of the game and also some of them have special abilities this game includes four different maps and on each map there is one green the, the green tiles are specific for that map and they will do different things so you will either uh, remove or move some walls rotate them around or you will be able to put extra meeples on the board for free and stuff like that, like you know, so you can like uh, before the area is closed, you can sneak in your meeple and maybe earn you some points that way. Maybe you even get majority. Yeah, but overall, it is a constant threat. You are constantly watching what others are doing, and the game is super fast. It goes really, really fast, and you are constantly watching what everybody is doing, what they are bidding on. You are trying to figure out who really needs that space, and you're really trying to outbid them. And as I said, the bidding is very simple. I like it. I'm usually not a fan of a bidding system itself, but this one is super nice, super clear, super clear. If you pay enough, you will get that space. Or in a, in a if you paid enough, but the person wants their meeple on there, they will pay you that amount so you can get like a lot of money. So next time you have even more coins, money, however you want to say it, you can have even more coins to bid on some spaces. So you know that they will not match you. You know, they can't match your money because you have like a lot of coins. It's a tight economy system going on in this game. I absolutely love World Splitters. It's such an easy game to teach, such easy game to learn. And it has this beautiful I split you choose mechanic sort of with the bidding involved and area control. It's just amalgamation of all these mechanics, but in really, really nice ways. So that is World Splitters. Definitely check this one out, out if you have opportunity. I think this game deserves way more love than it gets. And uh, yeah, that is that. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for spending time with me. You know, there's also Patreon. You can consider supporting channel that way. It helps out a lot. I'm really trying to improve my filming equipment. I am now currently in like big thinking about getting two other cameras so I can have like a bigger setup for the really nice gameplay videos that I'm thinking about doing and yeah that is 
that is that basically thank you all for watching thank you for subscribing thank you for spending time with me as i said i do very much appreciate all of it and uh, until next time pozdrav and what you do in this game is you split it and you uh, today we are going to talk about world splitters it is a game from emperor s4 games and uh, from emperor s4